and welcome back to Let's Play Stranger's Wrath. This is the third episode, hopefully, if everything goes well. And you know, I was thinking about putting today, little garden with um, we're going to be going for the loot and dupe. But first, backyard. I'm going to show Anybody off you know, the general store, because I don't think I did that um, last episode, which I wish I did. But hey, good job, stranger. We're fully stocked again. Yep. So now that you've defeated the horribly planned out plan of what's his name? I forget his name already. Floyd, I think his name is. Um, you can now buy upgrades, and these upgrades are all kind of decent. Um, I've never tested this out with these, like, I see these and I always buy them because, you know, they look like an upgrade, but I don't know if they actually work. Fun fact about Stranger's Wrath originally, um, a lot of the upgrades actually didn't do anything. Like, all the health upgrades, they didn't do anything. They just were like, they basically made you feel like they did something. And it was kind of stupid. Um, they do now, but I'm actually going to go through this without buying any of those upgrades because I think you lose them anyway um, later on for some reason. But let's see. Um, might as well buy all these upgrades. You don't need the binoculars, you get them for free basically later on. So don't buy them. Yeah, pleasure doing Unless business you really want to go, you know, spy on people, then it's fine. But I'm not gonna buy any of those. I'm just gonna buy clip extenders in the bag upgrades this playthrough. So I've never done hard mode without any of those um attractors, and I want to see if it actually changes something. Hey there, stranger. You looking for work? So we're gonna be fighting the Luton Duke. I hate this boss. He's a pain in the ass. Oh, the Luton Duke, that's who you're looking for. He's yep. a feisty outlaw scoundrel. He's hiding out behind the water facility down the road. You know, past the west gate. Yup, so we gotta go do a water facility. Thank god there's no swimming, because swimming in this game sucks dick, and you're gonna have to do a lot of it later on. Uh, that's a problem. That I'm gonna run into a lot because um, reporting. Um, oh wait, it's not in the right place. Which way? Oh, that way. Okay. I I lost. I got lost a little bit there for a second. Don't mind me. I'm just just being stupid. So. This running ability is really useful. I wish more games just kind of gave you a running ability like this. Uh, I'm having psych problems with that too due to the fact that. Oh. Due to the fact that there's glare on my computer screen, and that's never going to get fixed. So. I don't exactly know what to talk about during this episode because I think I talked about most of the technical aspects early on. Um. And not exactly funny, but oh, look at it's it's bugs. Hmm, thud slugs flying around. They's great in a fight, knocking them outlaws out. Hello, new item that's going to be integral to the boss fight because they introduce it right when you go to a new boss. Um, they're not exactly subtle, are they? Oh, I, um, I forgot to mention. Look it, there's vegetation now. I fixed it. I turned it back on. Um, and it might reduce the frame rate just a little bit, but it... You kind of need it in this game. So... I am more than willing to put up with a slightly, fr slightly lower frame rate then not see any of the plants. You also notice that my um that my count for bolomites was twelve instead of ten. 
that was the bag of it. It's not very big. And here's a new enemy type. The snipers. Um, these guys hit hard. They don't insta-kill, but yeah. They, they do quite a bit of damage. And they kinda let you know when you're gonna when you're gonna get shot at because their guns light up and they shoot. So there's two ways you can fight these. You can either ignore them, which is what I normally do, or for the sake of getting rid of him, you can shoot at him. And every time you shoot one out of their perch, it's an insta-kill. And they're not worth that much, so don't have to go and bounty them. Whoops! Um, that didn't show up. Wow. Yeah, people are going to be confused what that was all about. Um... I accidentally hit control. Or out. Oh. Get past my brother, stranger! Yeah. And... Yeah. Yeah, they're only worth five, so I won't go and capture them. They also drop money bags. And that's... okay, I guess. I don't know, there's not that much really to say about this early part of the thing. Um, this is going to be the first like major fort boss, though, which is going to be fun to do. Now, this is what I mean by fort boss. This is the whole mission. It all takes place right in there. All it is is one massive shootout, and I would say it's not really a hard shootout, but... Oh, they do That's nice. Um, no, they skipped this over the tutorial, which kind of makes me sad, but um, I will just show you it now. What grass basically does. In terms of, like, how useful it is. Tall grass. I know most people are going to hate me because they're not going to be able to see much, but this got to bear with me. Um, ah, shut your mouth, you little rat! Now you sit and you wait and you bag him. This is how most of the game is, sadly, and it bugs me because it's like, oh, it's such a nice little thing. Nice little placement of grass. Now, I want to make this interesting. So. Let's do that. Something that most people don't know about is you can actually shoot through these little things, so uh, he's now knocked out, so that's one less guy I have to do. Uh, I'm doing this the, the really dumb way. Now, if you're not focused on bounty, um, there's two other ways you can really just get rid of them right away. There are these spikes all over, and they will insta-kill you. Um, they also insta-kill all enemies that land on them, which means that if you use them correctly, you can easily just kill the whole group of guys right away. I'm not going to do that though, because that would be counterproductive, because they want to get certain upgrades that cost a lot of money. Oh my god, they're so- Oh, shit. Great, I died. I wasn't paying attention. They all managed to hit me at once. That was bullshit. Take two? Let's see, where does it load me up at? Oh, it's not too far away. Uh, that might be a cut. I don't know. 
I guess I'll do it my way this time, which is, um... I'm gonna try and speed run this. Hey, yeah, let's kill him. Let's see, kill him. Oh, this is another thing that you can do. Oh, the guy can hate the guy, though. You can draw people from the fan. It's two of them down. Doing incredibly well this time. Oh, oh, fuck! Oh, that was bad. That, that probably is. Uh, I'm gonna have to damper that down a little bit. Uh, fuck my life. This is difficult. I might just leave it in just to spite people because that'd be funny. Rest in peace, phone users. Uh -oh. Yeah. No, I I died that time actually due to something really stupid. My finger moved over one over, so instead of hitting the W key, I hit the um Q key, so I died early on. Oh my god. Oh uh, I must look really bad right now because I've heard this game so many times. It's like I should know how to instantly beat this boss, but I don't. I hate this boss fight. It's really long and tedious. And I hate it. Get Fuck all these guys. What the hell are you guys doing out there? I'll send every last one of you little bastards to your death before I gotta bother with that freak. Oh my god, this is... Let's see if I can actually, like... Yeah. Something weird over there. So... Now I'm safe. For a little bit at least. Um, I gotta save my fuzzles for the uh, second phase. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, it seems you can't get good help anywhere these days. You can take out the rest of my boys, stranger. Must be worth fighting. Yeah, yeah. Keep running your mouth. Um, ooh. Oh fuck, where'd that guy come from? Um, hello. Where you're not supposed to be here. Let's just there we go. That, nothing to see here. I totally didn't push that guy away from this thing. Whoops! Um Now, second phase. You enjoying smacking my boys around, stranger? Well, it's not quite the party you and Blister's booty gonna have. Smacking it up in that cozy jail. <laughs> Blister's booty? Oh no, I ain't going back in the cell with him. Oh no, I got dignity. I ain't going back. Never going back. I got dignity. Uh, you do not want to know. 
Way to be a prisoner, dude. Boys! Oh god, they do a lot more damage than I remember. for good days to come. Oh my god. Uh, I've died so many times. I'm usually not this bad at video games. Oh, 
Uh, this boss fight really just requires a rhythm that I don't have. Like, there's a lot of easier bosses in this game because they're just like their concepts are a lot simpler. Like, I'll go into later in the game. One of the one of the end game bosses is called Meteor Death. He is invincible from everywhere except for the back. He is the easiest boss in this game. So, That's how dukes go down. Guess I'm not begging him alive. Oh well. Could be worse. I could have died again by falling into a fan. Oh, God. I'm never gonna live that down. That's gonna be like... Just a mess to deal with. Just in like audio. Boombats, yeah, I could use some of them. Blow them outlaws into little bitsies. Hooray! We have Boombats. Hey, is this type of bat? Actually, it looks solid for a little bit. So. <sighs> yeah, I'm a little bit tired now. It's like Easter morning while I'm recording this. Like. And. Like, nobody's home, so it's just kind of me. You're chilling. It's not very. It's not the best, but. I mean. I can't really record when everybody's out here, cause, I mean, my house is a very noisy one. And I really do treasure these moments where I have peace and quiet and... I have peace and quiet and, um, I can actually do stuff like this. Because this is probably, possibly one of my favorite things to do, is just play video games and talk to myself and I thought why not share that with you guys because I'm sure there's one person that likes to watch this kind of stuff watch a person talk to himself and go maddeningly insane and and there's two snipers oh god oh I'm not going to harvest any of these guys One of the things that you don't really um, realize while playing this, and then after you start playing through multiple times, you're like, oh, I can just jump away from stuff because it's easy. Like, real talk. If you're not jumping away from stuff, it's like, why aren't you? Because it's the quickest way to get rid of problems. If you don't like a problem, just run away from it. Run, jump away. Now, I'm trying to think, what's up next? Oh, we have, um, we have to talk to Doc, too, because Doc should be back. So, so we're going to be getting some plot in this episode, too. This is a long oh, you look episode. Like a oh my god, it's one on to 24 minutes. Um, yeah. I think we're going to cut it off here, guys. So, in the next episode, we will talk to Doc, um, get whatever we need to get, and um, we will have another boss fight in the next episode, too. A really quick one, hopefully. Should be short. If it is, then maybe we'll get to the next town, too. See you next time. Bye-bye.